the prophet Habakkuk in the Bible wrote about things that are incredibly relevant. He dealt with questions that you and I, all of us, we struggle with all the time. Questions like, why do bad things happen? And why do evil people seem to always get ahead? And can I really trust God? Over the next three weeks, we're going to study the book of Habakkuk together. And to do that, we all need to do three things. First of all, I want to ask all of you to read the book of Habakkuk. Read all three chapters, maybe just a chapter a week. And then the next three things that we're going to do, we're going to do together. We're going to answer some questions. First, we're going to ask ourselves, what did Habakkuk's writings mean to the people of his day? And next, then what do they mean for us in our world today? And the last thing that we're going to deal with is a personal question of how am I going to change because of what I've learned? So let's start with that first question. What did Habakkuk's writings mean back then? Habakkuk lived 2,600 years ago, but I want to rewind the clock even just a little bit further to almost 3,000 years ago. Back then, God's people, the Israelites or the Jews, were one nation. And then they had a political split. The northern kingdom kept the name Israel, while the southern kingdom became the kingdom of Judah. Over the next 200 years, the northern kingdom of Israel had a bunch of different kings, and all of them tended to be evil. They made decisions that didn't align with God's ways and His plans. As a result, God allowed the northern kingdom of Israel to be conquered by the world's first empire, the Assyrian Empire. They came in and they conquered the entire nation of Israel. But because the southern nation of Judah had remained faithful to God, God spared them and the Assyrians never conquered them. Then came Habakkuk and during his lifetime a new empire, the Babylonian Empire, was really on the rise and they were giving the Assyrians a run for their money. It was around 612 BC that the Assyrian city of Nineveh, their capital city, was conquered and destroyed by the Babylonians. And during that time, Habakkuk began to see what was going on. He looked at his own nation and saw that the king that they had at that time was going the way of the Israelites. He was choosing to be ungodly. He was choosing to do evil things. And the people of Judah, they were following their evil king. Habakkuk was broken hearted by this. He saw that the people of his nation, morally, they were crumbling. And then he saw the Babylonians outside their nation, conquering everything, even the Assyrians. And he thought to himself, I wonder if God might use the Babylonians to punish us for our sin the way that the Assyrians punished the Israelites. And that's when Habakkuk's book was written. He penned these words, God, how long do I have to cry out for help before you listen. It was not long then, and the Babylonians came and conquered the nation of Judah. So knowing this little bit of history, I want you and your groups to sit down together and to explore the first part of Habakkuk, asking yourself the three questions. What did his writings mean then? What do they mean for me today? And how am I going to change because of what I've learned? God. How long do I have to cry out for help before you listen? How many times do I have to yell, help, murder, police, before you come to the rescue? Why do you force me to look at evil and stare trouble in the face day after day? Anarchy and violence break out, quarrels and fights all over the place. Law and order fall to pieces. Justice is a joke. The wicked have the righteous hamstrung and stand justice on its head.